in case you guys don't know, Harry and I right now are down in Tombstone, Arizona, enjoying a much needed little mini vacation that we decided to do. But I thought I would share with everybody, I'm trying to recreate my English muffins, my protein sparing modified fast English muffins that originally were my um, Italian seasoned bread that failed and then I added some ingredients and I made English muffins and they were absolutely delicious. And so many of you have written me, have made comments, they need the recipe. So I'm gonna try to recreate everything. So let's get started. I need one more ingredient, Harry, I forgot. Baking powder. Okay, now, I have 12 egg whites in the mixer that are room temperature. I have six egg yolks right here, six egg yolks. Now, I am going to, in this pan, I'm going to get started. I'm going to add everything. This is just, nothing else, it's just egg white protein powder. I'm going to add cup. I'm putting my dry ingredients into this bowl because I want to mix it up with a fork and make sure it's really mixed really well before it goes into the container. There we go. Don't pack. Don't pack your egg white protein powder, okay? Make sure it's just loose in there. That's really important. You don't want too much. Now, I am using a quarter of a cup of allulose. If you don't have allulose, you don't like allulose, you're allergic to allulose, you don't know what it is, can't get it, can't find it, use a tablespoon of Swerve Confectioner sugar instead. But I am using allulose because allulose, besides the fact that it is sweet, it's about 70% as sweet as sugar. So it's not as sweet as sugar, you know, one for one, but it adds a chewy texture and brownness to the outside of your bread. One quarter cup. Now, I'm gonna use one tablespoon Italian seasoning. I need more Italian seasoning. We're gonna have to go to Costco and get a big thing of Italian seasoning, man, because I love it. There we go, Italian seasoning. One teaspoon nutritional yeast. You don't have to get Bragg, uh, Sprouts. Uh, there's lots of really good um, ones, including Sprouts, Bulk has it. Um, but I just like it because it adds a nice flavor. So, one teaspoon, one, one half teaspoon of the Fleshman's Active Dry Yeast. If you don't have Fleshman's, whatever brand of Active, Active Dry Yeast, because this gives it a bread taste to it. Let me get a scissors. This gives a, uh, I think a dough taste, tastes like bread to me. It does. Half teaspoon into the mix. Now I'm gonna put half teaspoon of onion, onion granules, onion powder. Do not use onion salt. It's gotta be powder or granules, you guys. Half teaspoon of organic seasoned salt by Redmond. You can get it if you guys can't use, uh, I don't know. I don't know what other flavor to use because this is unique. It has a unique flavor. So I'm putting in half, half teaspoon. I'm putting in half teaspoon of garlic granules or garlic powder. It 
If you like less, use less. If you like more, use more. Now I've got my cream of tartar, and I'm using half teaspoon of cream of tartar. Cream of tartar stabilizes the egg whites, you guys. It stabilizes the egg whites. So you really need that to go here. Now, here's something I'm doing. I put a teaspoon of baking powder I did not add my baking powder to the recipe, so I need to. But I am putting this, what? putting a teaspoon of baking powder, and I'm putting it into my egg yolk. Because this will make the egg yolk lighter. And you will see it will rise a little bit. So I'm keeping the egg yolk out, but you guys, I'm gonna mix my powdered all together, all together now, all together now, yep. Make sure it's all mixed in. Now this is where you can add a scoop of tomato basil keto chow. You can add a scoop of the chicken, savory chicken, but I'm doing this for folks that don't have keto chow, can't get keto chow, don't have any keto chow around, okay? Same with the alveolos. So I'm putting this right in. I'm just pouring it right in, right on top. Yes, indeed. So it's right on top. Of right on top. I'm taking my fork and kind of just blending it in so it kind of gets wet so it doesn't poof into a big powder puff when I put the blade in. Now I am putting it on my... And I'm putting the blade in. I want to whip this until it is almost stiff peaks. Almost, but not quite. Hey, you guys. I'm not feeding it all the way. I've got soft peaks right here. Soft peaks. I am putting in... On purpose. On purpose, because that's what happened the first time. It didn't even it didn't even get that good. So I'm putting in six with the baking. Here, excuse me. I need to see what I'm doing here. This is the six egg yolks. Put that back in. Turn it on low. Let me get some of this on the side because I don't want the egg yolks out of the... I'm going to make sure it's all mixing really well. Remember you guys, I'm trying to recreate the failed recipe. And in my failed recipe, the egg whites did not peak. So. I just want to incorporate The um, egg. I want to get this batter out. I've got more pinks than I had before. That's for sure. Huh, Harry? Oh yeah. Way more. That's good. That's good. It'll just give us a little lighter batter, maybe. You know? 
get mine. I just want to incorporate the um, egg. I want to get this batter out. I've got more pinks than I had before. That's for sure. Huh, Harry? Oh, yeah. Way more. That's good. That's good. It'll just give us a little lighter batter, baby. You know? Got the new pans from a mystery. Um, nobody sent me an email that I saw, so you guys must want to be remain anonymous, and that's fine. Got some stuff carrying it over here. Now, what I want to do... Just make sure this is all mixed in nice. The egg yolk is all mixed in nice, and it is incorporated. Mmm, looks really good, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Now, let me get a big spoon. I don't know where the red one must be in the washing machine, nope. or the dishwasher. Nope. Don't put there, in there. That'll work. And this will work. Well, there we go. There we go. Now. Yeah. Way too much. Yeah, you don't want to put too much, huh? No, I don't. But we're taking them out quicker, too. Because we don't want them to stay risen. We want them to kind of... Deflate? Well, you want to get them um, bagel... I mean, not bagel size, but... Um, English muffin size. Putting the egg yolk gives it more of a uh, English muffin texture. At least it did when I made it the failed one, you know. Now when I made this, I used the net pan. The net pan that you guys can see through the bottom, the black one, it leaks. You have to use it. It's made for bread dough, the consistency of bread dough. And mine was a little bit more runny and it leaked out the bottom. So that's why I'm not using it for this. I don't know how it uses, how it works for egg whites, which tend to stay stiff and in one place, but it melted out the bottom, didn't it, Harry? Yep. Just oozed right out. Of course, because it has holes in it. Right. And bread batter is pretty solid. Harry can't have, even though he likes everything but the bagel seasoning, but I can. So I'm putting some everything but the bagel seasoning on mine because it's delicious on these. I need a place to put, let me get in. I need a place to, I forgot to check the rack. That's my bad. I'm going to pull it up because I'm going to be baking bread. Oh, my bread doesn't rise above that. Putting these on the bottom shelf for about 13 minutes. They don't need to be cooked very long and they can come right out. So let me close that and start the timer on those while I get my bread ready. 13 minutes, just to see. Got a bread pan ready to go in the wings. You know what's funny? It's the one time you don't want your meringue to do it, and it was doing it perfect. It was doing it beautiful. It would have done perfect if I'd left it alone. But I didn't want to leave it alone because I want the heavier texture for that English muffin taste, you know? Yeah. So anyway, we're going to have a nice loaf of this bread. Maybe it's, you know, starting something new. Um, with the egg yolks, you guys have to count the egg yolk. Don't forget. Mm. 
Let me get another pan. There we go. Well, we'll have bread to take with us to Tombstone. Yep. Yes, indeed. You have to work fast with egg whites, you guys, because it will start. It will start deflating and the air will start coming out of it. So you really have to work pretty fast to get it into the oven. You put this up on the top shelf. So, and then you guys draw just a little line right down the top. That when it rises, it'll just do like a split top and it's really nice cake. Okay, you guys. These are going in. They're going into the top. Excuse me. So we got the one up there. Or you use it for something else. Uh-huh. I'm another one. There. This is eight minutes left on our English muffins and 29 on our bread. Anyway, you guys, we'll come back when it's English muffins and bread. Yes, indeed. Okay, you guys had had ready. The timer just went off. I'm getting out the bottom. Let me take a peek. Let me feel. Oh, it feels pretty good. Okay. It's funny because these didn't rise at all, but the bread rose. The bread looks like normal bread in there. Thickness. Harry thinks it's the thickness that causes the difference. So I'm just putting these over here to cool off, off the tins. And I don't know how these are gonna turn out. There's two things I don't know about. Two things, and I'll share. These are kind of narrow, they're thinner, than what I than what I use. This, this is what I used. Long than I am, it oozed out. But this it was a mess. This man. was um, meringue enough. I bet they would fit in here, Harry. Look at how thin it is. I know. And this, see, look, this was the perfect the perfect depth. Yeah. It really was. Maybe I, if I if I got it to where it peaked like this one did, I bet you this would Mike, work. Yeah, you can try it again. You know, try it again and see because this was the perfect. And the way the holes are in it, it actually um, cooked it more like an English muffin mm -hmm. all the way around it. I'd love to be able to use this again, but when I made my English muffins, the batter was runnier than this because it was less stiff. The meringue didn't peak at all in the one that I made my English muffins in, and these did right away. Even dumping everything in, even with the humidity and everything else, you know, so we'll see. You know, no two batches are the same. No. Ever. They aren't. They aren't. But anyway, you guys, we got about we got 11 minutes for the bread to bake. I want to cool this off and do a taste test for you and share with you guys. So we'll come back when these are cool and we can taste test them. Okay, you guys, oh my gosh, I forgot the bread. We got bread in here. Ooh, that looks nice, huh? Wow, that's interesting. Yeah, it does. <gasps> wow. Oh. Mm. Man, that smells, I'm sorry. Me, please. Move, I, move okay, faster. I will, I will, Harry. Don't worry, don't worry. Oh, gosh, just, just look at that. That's beautiful. Wow. Well, it turned out really nice. It turned out really nice. I wasn't expecting bread. 
So here, let's do this. So I can tell right now they don't have the same consistency as the ones that I made in the other tin. What I need to, these are good, they're very light, they're more meringue-y. I need to recreate taller in that size. Mm. This is very much just like, I don't know, maybe it's got some chewiness to it. Oh, yeah, it does. We'll try it out. It's more bread than English muffin. It's good. Don't get me wrong. It's good. Great is toast. More like a crumpet. Hmm. Wanna try? Yeah. Have a bite? I just think those are too thin. They're they're very to get. light. They're very light, they're very not, airy. Not anything like those, right? No. They're good. Okay, so she's gonna have to continue testing. Yes, I am. There's nothing wrong with those. No, they're great. You could use them for everything. But they're not English muffins. In fact, these would be good for, I'll tell you the truth, these would be good for a hamburger bun. Yeah, they would. Oh, yeah. They would. Hmm. Okay. Is that it for tonight? Yeah, okay. Here, can we come back to me? Are you just going to sit there and chew mm. in everybody's ear? Mm. Yeah, these, you guys, it's not a fail, but they're not English muffins. These are perfect hamburger buns. Yeah, they really are. Mm, I love that taste. These would be great toasted with schmear with cream cheese. And the bread, which I didn't think would rise at all, is beautiful. Yeah. Isn't it hairy? It turned out really nice. Anyway, you guys. We'll try again. We'll try again. That was English muffin number one. It doesn't taste like English muffins. It tastes like the it tastes like bread, mm -hmm. which is fine, mm -hmm. but it's not English muffins. So English muffins back to the drawing board, gang. Yes, indeed. Anyway, everybody, please remember to like, subscribe, ring the little bell, give us a thumbs up. We'll see you right here tomorrow. Good night, everyone. Man, yeah, I like them. They're good. But they're not that English muffin texture I had. I think I had Cheeto Challenge for sure. Okay, it's good, right? We're done? Mm -hmm. Is that all of it now? So we're done? Yeah. Do not have to film anything else? No. Cool. I can get going then. I think these, with a the toaster, 